Hey everybody, welcome to Sapporo. Well, Hokkaido. This is this is Chitose Airport. This is the entry point into Hokkaido for many international travelers. In this live stream, I'm gonna be taking you through the airport from the international terminal to the domestic terminal and showing you what's here, what's not here, and a whole lot of Drymon. And a, there's a lot of other characters on the way I saw. This is the international terminal. You can see it's pretty empty in the morning. It's a Sunday morning here. Um, there are some tables here on the side where you can charge your computer and just relax for a little bit before you go through security. We're gonna walk through this corridor you see on the left, on the right side, over to the domestic terminal, that's straight ahead. And between the domestic and international terminal on the left and right are parking lots where you can uh, park your car. I think the rental car companies are on the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and take a look. Now, a lot of people are, have been afraid of Japan's airports um, because of the coronavirus uh, that's going through. And I, I wanna tell you that I don't see any problem here with check-in or in this side of it. There's really not a lot of people. Maybe it's just because it's Sunday morning. But this is an airline going towards um, Seoul, Korea. And you can see it's pretty light, orderly. Some people have masks on, some people don't. Let's take a look here. This is the third floor of the departure lobby for the International Terminal at uh, New Chitose Airport. And it's pretty much just a straight layout like this. I'm at the end of it. And of course there's lockers and all sorts of icons that are internationally recognized. You know what they are. There's some lockers, some restaurants up there. Let's go take a look over there. And then we're gonna make our way towards the domestic terminal where there's a lot more stuff. It almost looks like a theme park. One, um, one news outlet said that the domestic terminal looks like a, uh, a theme park from time to time. Oh, I like that clock up there. So it looks like there's a lot of construction going by. Oh, hello. I want to be viewers. Oh, yeah, I'm actually live streaming. Exactly. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Yit. Yit, nice to meet you, nice Yit. To meet you. Where are you from? I'm Malaysia. Oh, cool. Uh, now in Boston. But, uh, ah, what, where are you headed back today? I actually just arrived here. Oh, wow. Two hours ago. International yeah, flight? International flight. And Whoa. I saw that you were live streaming and I thought, that's a total coincidence. Yeah, you, you found me pretty fast. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be walking around. Do you know anything about this terminal? I don't know too much about it. Not very much, no. It's my first time here ever. Yeah, I'm kind of doing an overview of the terminal here. I do have a card for you. Oh, yeah. Because if you find me, you get a card. Yeah. I saw that you were going to uh, nobody bets as well. Yeah! yeah here you go. Uh, yeah, I'm going there right after this live stream and try to participate in the Onsen Festival. It should be a lot of fun. It's supposed to be minus five degrees uh, <laughs> Celsius. What do you, what's your, uh, that's not happening to the fourth though. Yeah, so I'm going there early. I'm, I'm trying to get the background of it, interview some old people, get some history of it and things like that. Yeah, you here for the, fest, the snow festival? Uh, it, it wasn't planned, but yes. I'm yeah, well, <laughs> some of the best adventures weren't planned. That's the way it goes. Yeah. No, it's good to, be able to see you. So. No, I'm, I'm happy that you're giving from uh, KL. KL, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, I did a meetup there like about four years ago. We had a pretty good turnout. <laughs> we have a lot of viewers in Malaysia. Very much so. Well, thanks for saying hi, Yit. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. That's nice. Found me fast. So he, was, he wasn't planning to go to the Sapporo Snow Festival, but guess what? He is. I think because a lot of tour packages canceled from China because of the coronavirus, there's a lot of hotels that are available. So I think if you're trying to go um, to Sapporo, you might be able to, to snatch an accommodation that's been booked for a long time. Here's the departure board. You can see their flight's still going to China from Beijing, Shanghai, Nanjing, just later on in the afternoon. So, 
There's supposed to be restaurants over here, but it looks like it's inside of the check-in. So we're not going to be able to to go in there. But just to give you just to, to give you a quick um, look, see at the de- international terminal. It's pretty empty right now. A lot of a lot of foreigners coming in here don't come on direct international flights unless you're coming from Asia. A lot of them come through Tokyo and then a domestic flight. So. There are some shops here, and there are some international flights to Sapporo. All the, the, the this is a little bit outside of Sapporo. It's kind of between Sapporo and the coast on the other side of Hokkaido. It it takes about 40 minutes, I believe. I can't remember. That's interesting. Toy Park. I guess if you're gonna make a gift shop, Toy Park is a pretty darn good name. It's a lot more fun than the other ones. And the other side, there's a Laux, which is an electronics store. And I guess what they call, um, they call it like Smile Road. And we're gonna go up a little bit later. They have a cinema and a spa area. Is that not cool? And there's some restaurants over there as well. We're gonna go up there, but first let's go take a look at the international arrivals. So if you did arrive on, if you did arrive on an arriving flight to Sapporo, you're going to arrive down here. So welcome to everybody who is joining us right now. I see the notifications have gone out. Welcome to Sapporo. Welcome to Hokkaido. Welcome to New Chitose Airport. You're getting an inside look of Hokkaido's biggest airport and probably the biggest international gateway to to Hokkaido is here near Sapporo, which is the, the I guess it would be the capital of Hokkaido, which is a prefecture. Here's the arrivals. It's pretty empty because there's not, not no flights have come in. Um, whoosh, interesting. So there's a SIM card, prepaid SIM card that you can buy here. Look at some of the prices. Eight days for 5,000 yen, which is about $50. You get uh, 4G LTE unlimited. Um, two gigabytes for a nano. That's not a lot of data, but it's neat that they have a vending machine for that. And then there's some tour desks. If you have a tour package, it's pretty easy. Once you exit, you can just turn and go get your tour. There's also a convenience store down there, probably for people that are waiting. See, there's a Lawson's at the end of the road there. And a whole lot of Drymon. Ellis is gonna love this. It says down there, Nich- New Chitose Airport, third floor Smile Road. You see that? Very cool. I guess they change. Okay, there you go. There's a flyer for it, and there's a QR code anybody who wanted to scan that (laughs) I don't know oh that's pretty nice look they have a Hokkaido tourist information as soon as you exit boom you're right into a really nice booth with a ton of literature there's also a currency exchange booth right on the right side of international arrivals and here's the Sapporo snow festival festival poster yes we will be bringing that to you live Hopefully there is some snow. There's not a lot. I thought when we arrived into Sap, when I arrived into Sapporo, there would be a lot more, but there wasn't a lot more. It was really a little bit. This is Kochi Okayama. That's not exactly Hokkaido, but let's see here. Oh, there's the Abashiri, Abashiri um, icebreaker boat. I did that. We did that in a live stream two years ago. You guys can go back in the archives and check it out. Cape Soya, Japan's northernmost point. Good memories of hitchhiking. Oh man, it's so nice to be in uh, Hokkaido again. So many memories that I have. All, all of the worries and, and problems in Tokyo melt away when you get up here. This is like going to a different country. It's Hokkaido, baby. There's Otaru represented. There's some maps and information and Hakodate. And then of course, Sapporo. This is a Sapporo by Manga. That's pretty cool. Let's see what they got. Okay. 
So it tells you all of the, the story of Sapporo for tourists in manga format. That's very cool. All right, I'll be back. It's very hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> All right, I guess some of you are probably worried, wondering about the exchange rates. Right now, it looks like it's closed. So, that's too bad. I, I, would, ins I would say don't get your stuff from, from the uh, um, exchange boots anyways. Take it from an ATM if you can. There's convenience stores, there's Lawson's there, there's an ATM in there, and there's a ton of ATMs between the domestic and the international terminal. I'm going to show you that. Some restrooms here in the corner. How cool is that? That's right, I think restrooms are cool. That's how much of a psychopath I am. There's, there's the um, shuttle bus that's going by in the center, and you can see uh, you can get around by bus, but it's easier just to walk. It's a little bit of snow. Hey, Joe. This is John from, hi John, this is Joe from Virginia. Do you know why Hokkaido don't have any prefectures? I, I don't know, I think it's because it's, it's kind of a new land. I don't, it's a good question, but Hokkaido in itself, we just say Hokkaido is a prefecture on its own, but inside of Hokkaido, there's no prefectures. It's all just one big land mass. It, it's like Texas of Japan, sort of, or the Alaska, you know, it's just massive. Uh, inside of the convenience store, there is an ATM. You can also grab a snack. This is a Rivals, too. Hokkaido does have some unique foods that are different as well. The snacks, the omiyage, the gifts, the boxes, you're going to see some of that on the way, are incredible here. They are incredible here. Hey, big boy Bitcoin! Anyone saw the new Final Fantasy VII trailer? Not me. <laughs> Maybe somebody in the chat did. Thanks for that. All right, let's make our way. Make our way to the other side. Hey, Yvonne, thank you. Cup of coffee. It's not a bad idea. So that's what Draymond looks like from behind. I see. I see. Hey, someone's buying a SIM card. Someone's buying a SIM card. I've never seen anybody do that. All right, guys. This is the t this is the corridor that goes between the domestic and the main, the domestic and the international terminal. Oh, there's the ATMs, including a seven bank ATM down here. There's no gachapon. That's kind of unusual. I thought there'd be some gachapon. So I I'm gonna put this on the walk -a later. A really long one. I do have one bag with me. Joseph Clark's here. Hey, John. This is a. This is the other Joe from Virginia. <laughs> Go have some beer and lunch. <laughs> There's a lot of Joes in Virginia. Thanks so much for that. I will absolutely. I'm. I'm going right now. Um, after this, uh, to Nobori Betsu, and I, I don't know if you've been there. It's a big onsen town um, of Hokkaido. Down, there's a lot of onsen town in Hokkaido, but that one's really special to me because I've hitchhiked through there um, several, no, not several times, but at least two times, to 2003 and 2017, and now again today. And uh, I, ha I made a friend that I was there. He, he was like in his 60s when I first saw him, and now he's like in his 80s. And uh, Mr. Wakaki, who owns a, to uh, a retro toy store, and I'm gonna go go check uh go meet up with him and bring him some uh gifts from tokyo and say thank you for picking me up he picked me up hitchhiking uh, tw uh 17 18 years ago 2003 17 years ago wow time it's like time is is makes no sense to me right now um i was i was hitchhiking in front of his toy store uh in 2003 and uh, he said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm hitchhiking. I'm going towards Hakodate. And he goes, you're not gonna find a ride here. And I go, oh. So he said, come on in for some coffee. He gave me some coffee in his toy store. His wife brought out the coffee. We sat and talked for about 30 minutes. Then he, he said, I'll take you to Mudoran. So he put me in his car and he took me to Mudoran. And uh, on the way, we stopped at this really beautiful area that only he knew about, this open field with grass. Looked absolutely beautiful, like something from Switzerland. And then he dropped me off at Muradan and said good luck. And I didn't see him for 17, um, from 2003 until 2017, 14 years. And I just walked into a shop 
and uh, he didn't really remember me, kind of. His wife did more, and uh, we had coffee, and he drove me up to the onsen. It was a really, really nice um, story for me, a nice experience. I did a live stream on this, I believe, and it's in, it's in the uh, DVD that I made uh, before. It's a pretty good story, personal story to me, too. The only reason I could keep... Back then, we didn't have Facebook. We didn't have um, Twitter and other social media. So the only reason I could keep in touch with him... That's a massive-looking bear. I could keep in touch with him because I know where he, where his shop was because that's where he, he picked me up, right in front of his shop. And it, it hasn't changed since. It's been there since the 1950s, I believe. So I, I hopefully I, I can get a, uh, a chance to look inside of his toy store He's got a toy museum, and uh, I, it's not something that's in guidebooks, but I thought it might be pretty neat to see if he'd let me film in there and take a look at it. And um, yeah, who knows? If, if anything, I'll at least have, have dinner and, and a coffee with him and, and talk and see how he's doing because he's such a nice guy. And he might be the only friend that I have in <laughs> no body pets. <sir. laughs> All right, guys, so we're getting close to um, what's called Smile Road right there. So I'm just going to finish on this walk -a later and come on back around here. Joseph Clark writes in, have you heard of the guy in Japan that sells coffee that's super old but apparently good? I haven't heard about it, but I have now. I guess I'll be, someone's going to be Googling that right now and uh, telling me all about it, but... I want to try a lot of new things from Hokkaido that I've never tried before. I think um, that's what I'm going to be doing the last three days of this trip. You can see here, this is the Smile Road I was talking to you about. It's got the international icons that everybody knows. Chocolate, Hello Kitty, and Drymon. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> so let's go take a quick look at Smile Road. How could you not smile on Smile Road? Thanks for joining me, everybody. This is New Chitose Airport in Hokkaido, the international gateway and the domestic gateway into Hokkaido from, from most people. Um, once we get to the domestic terminal, do stay tuned. Uh, in about mm, five minutes, we'll be in the domestic terminal and it, it looks pretty cool in there. There's a lot of shops. Uh, and this is a good overview if you're, if you're coming and flying into Hokkaido. And, uh, yeah, hey there, that's Dear Daniel. How do I know that? Why do I know that? Whoa, this is like a theme park. What? Hello kitty, happy flight. All right. <laughs> this is awesome. How cool is that? And look, he looks like a cabinet, a pilot, but he's carrying a Hello Kitty. How cool is that? Oh, there's the real kitty. Wow. And entrance is 800 yen into there and kids are 400 yen. So that's pretty reasonable. Whoa. Factory tour, factory tour. Dude, this is awesome. What is this? Just robots and stuff. I thought they only robots only made cars. Whoa. This is inside of Chitose Airport. What? It's making confections. Not moving very quickly. What's this machine here? Oh, so these look like look like um, oh, like the bubble things. You know when you, you you dip them in the bubbles to make uh, bubbles. That tool that came with the the soapy water. But I think maybe this is something that they use to uh, do the TK Wizard. Thanks for the tour of New Chitose. Was hoping of going to Hokkaido one day, especially Hakodate and Chitose proper. I hear from my friend that Chitose is shiny. We're gonna find out how shiny he is. My dad, Yarm, wants to 
buy you an airport beer. You got it, Jimmy. You got it, Jimmy. Um, so this robot doesn't look like it really wants to operate very well. Oh, and it, that's the, um, that's where it gets baked, I guess, inside there. Well, that's pretty cool. I, I, you know, I don't know why more, more confection companies, more companies don't do this. When you can see inside the factory and you can see them making it, it really does make you want to buy it, doesn't it? Oh, so they're like ch ch chucklesicles. You see that? Look at the robot guy at work. Do it, do it, robot, do it. Look, he's picking it up all proper. He's very polite with his actions. I shouldn't assume that it's a he, it could be a she. It's hard to say. Hope they give the robot breaks at least. In the future, I'm hoping that the robot overlords will be watching this video and know that I'm, I was on sympathetic on their side. Let that be a record to the robot warlord. I publicly stated that I am for breaks and better treatment of robots. Robots are people too. <laughs> uh, uh. There you go. All right. All hail our robot overlord. You never know. It's my insurance policy. How do you guys have a live stream where you've got your insurance policy for the robot overlords? Whoa! Check this robot overlord out. I don't even know what it's doing. But it looks like it should be in outer space. I guess this is a dryer or something. I don't know. I could look at it all day. Alrighty then. New Chitose Airport continues here, the tour. It does look like an amusement park. So chocolate is actually not from Hokkaido, but they do have chocolate trees in, in New Chitose Airport, at least made of plastic. One of the biggest confections here is chocolate. So Royce Chocolate is one of the biggest chocolate makers in Japan, and it's incredible, the quality of the chocolate. It's so good. If you've, if you've ever had Royce Chocolate, you know that you're eating some really quality stuff. And the best thing that they have are those potato chips dipped in Royce Chocolates. They're not dipped, they're drenched. They're not drenched, they're drowned in it. They're not drowned in it. They're, uh, it's crazy. Look at this. They're mild bitter. They are on a different level. Do you see that? They have all different flavors too. They have white chocolate and caramel. Oh my gosh, it's so good. These are smaller packs. Whoa. It's nice. It's nice. These are petite bags. I've never seen these before. That's, it's drenched in caramel, drowned in it. Kanai loves that too. We, we go through a bag. You, once you open it, you can't, oh, they're the big ones. Once you open a bag, you can't stop. This is a pistachio. Oh, this is one of the top uh, new gifts from Hokkaido. These pistachio chocolates. Shortcut C's here. Something for Kanai, great live stream last night. You got it. I will be getting Kanai a lot of gifts when she, she's, hey, Shortcut, she's coming here uh, in a couple of days. She's gonna be joining me later. I'll tell you what, I, I will take her, I will take her out to dinner and I will see if she'll let me uh, take some pictures for you and we're gonna share it. Share it with, the, with you because I know I gotta take care of Kanai. I wish she was with me on this on this trip, but she's gotta work. Wow. Oh, there it is. There it is. These are the chips I'm talking about. These are the ones that I always get. They're so good. These are the the man size ones. Seven eighty, seven seventy eight a pack. 
um, 190 grams. It's so good. They have double packs here, so you can get two in one. You cannot stop. You, you will eat these and you'll be in paradise. Ser I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Kanai does need a, a YouTube dance channel, doesn't she? <laughs> I've been encouraging her. We will try. What? I thought that was Ben and Jerry's. No, it's Jersey and Brown. But they do have ice cream that looks like Ben and Jerry's. But it's Jersey and Brown. That's a mammoth. Dryaki, look at that. It's got some, got some volume to it. They once once something is on a TV show and they they try it, the shops will use those clips on the TV and then say as seen on TV is a very strong pull in Japan. There's the Starbucks here. They have a, a chocolate Valentine brownie action going on. But I'm gonna turn my attention. There's a little, another little factory thing. Turn my attention over here. This is this is a, a Roy's chocolate bakery that I've never seen before. Whoa! Let's just take a quick look, see at some of these baked items. Oh, all I smell is is uh, like that smell of cookies and baking chocolate. That's all I smell right now. Oh my word, that is a chocolate pie. Oh, rich cream bun. It's better than the poor ones. This one's rich. That. Oh, look at that chocolate French. Oh man. This is a Gutter. It's the number. What? Wait, on closer inspection, they just ch shoved a chunk of chocolate in there. That's insane. They shoved a chunk of chocolate in there. Do you see that? That's a massive chocolate roundy. And they're all making Royce chocolates. I don't know what to get. Oh, this is the num Ninky, most number one popular one. It's a Nama Choco Croissant Ole for 270 yen. It's been on TV, so it's number one. It says right here, on as seen on TV. Wow, I don't know. And they have tarts in here in this in the uh, refrigerator. That's a tough one. Oh my gosh, I would I gotta get I gotta get something. I gotta get something. Alright, I gotta get something. Okay, I gotta get something. I, I gotta get something. Alright, I gotta do it. I have to do it. How do I do it with one hand? Alright, I'm gonna leave my bag here. All right, bag, stay there. All right. What do you guys think I should get? I gotta try something. There's the chocolate pie, which is Ninky number five. There's this one where they just shoved an entire block of chocolate on it. What do you think? What should I do? The chocolate pie, all abroad says chocolate pie. This one looks good, the cheese melon bun. It says get number one. Get one of everything. All right, I'm gonna try this one, just because. No, I'm, I'm very rude. I'm gonna pick the one in the middle. That was me. I was here. That's how I mark it. All right, let's just, let's just do that. All right. This is people like get them all. Someone said I was rude. I was rude. I own it. Looking to see if they had any mini, mini chocolate chips. Hi.
Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. From the Royce Bakery. It's a Ryoshu Shokanai. All right, let's try it. It's oh, nice to sit down. I'm gonna take you now in. So people are excited now. Jandri for Fernandez writes, I'm excited. All right. Welcome. Um, okay, let's try this. This is a uh, the number one item at the Roy, uh, Royce Bakery was this, and it's so light for for almost three dollars. I think they should have filled it with with pure sugar, but um, it it does look and it looks good. I, it looks like it, it it does have some butter in there. Let's try it. I guess if you come here, you're gonna have to try everything, right? If Kanai was here, she'd eat like half that stuff. Whoa! Oh my. You have no idea what I just bit into. Look at that. It's all melted in there. It's so good. This is illegal. I want to put it all over my face like a like a face pack and wear it and lick my own face. Oh my god. It's all buttery, crunchy on the uh, all around it too. So good. Should be illegal. Look at it popping out. I guess it's like a Nutella, but it's not. It's chocolate. It's chocella. Mm. I think it's a milk chocolate. Oh, it's starting to come out. That's it. Very buttery. Had like a pie consistency to it. Very buttery. Coming with me. Yes, yeah, some of you wanted to stay. I know that. I, I can read read your read your body language on the other side. But we got to keep moving. We got a domestic terminal to see, and the domestic terminal is even better than this. Uh, I know that a lot of people do collect the Starbucks mug, so I thought I would just give you a quick look see for those collectors out there. Um, and where is the Sapporo one? They they have like every at the airport. They usually have like every area of it. These are new. And then, uh, I guess this one is Hokkaido. I don't know. Just for the collectors. What? No, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Do it. Is that that jiggly cheesecake? Oh, she's got to cut that. How satisfying would that be to cut that? Oh man, I can cut that with my mouth. I want to do a face plant right in the middle of it. I put my handprint on it and go, you know, this is like the, that Hollywood uh, Avenue where famous stars put their hands in mud. It turns into a street or something. That's what this is. I don't think she's gonna cut it. Oh, she's making a new one. Something's gonna happen. I'm I'm very conflicted. Do I stick around or do I go? Guys, if we get to 500 likes, 
I might stick around. If you like this and you want to see her cut this, and it's imminent, I think it's imminent, we need 500 likes. It's up to you now. Tone, tone, that's one way to like, but I can't count that that fast. But if you click the like for the video, then I see that better. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get there. I don't think we're gonna get there. Something's baking in there. Oh, the oven just went off. There's a light on it, it just went off. Look at these massive industrial ovens. Oh, she, where's she going, where's she going? She's setting something up. Oh, she's taking something out of the oven. Yes, yes, do it. Oh, look at that, it's like charcoal. Do it, no, no, it's done, it's done. Take it out, take it out. Oh yeah, put it right in front of me, right here. Hey, 480 likes is not 500 likes, just saying. No, no, it's done, what? Oh, it's coming, it's coming, she's gonna do it, she's gonna do it. This is awesome, guys. I don't know why I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited about this. I don't know why. All right, I'll stick around. We got the 500. I love it when the com we do this as a community, you know? Like, everybody work together to get the 500. Hey, but keep going. We're, we're right now at, at New Chitose Airport in, in near Sapporo. I've just arrived. This is between the domestic and, and international terminal, a place called Smile Road on the third floor. And you can walk between the international terminal and the domestic terminal on Smile Road. And right now we're at the Royce Chocolate area of the street. And they're, oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so beautiful. Look at that. That's so nice. Oh, it's so perfect. This is worth it. Thanks guys for making me stay here. This is so beautiful. That's a big, mighty cake. It's gotta be perfect. Oh, he's putting something, he's putting something in the oven over there too. Look like, that looked really good as well. We didn't catch it, saw it out of the corner of my eye. She flipped it. She flipped it. That's so awesome. Oh, that's how she, that's how you do it. This is the greatest day ever. It's so satisfying. Just peel that paper. I want to eat that. That's all. Oh, look how soft it is on the top. Nice and flat and even, like a big pillow. Futon. She gonna flip it again? Yeah, flip it, flip it. Yes. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Okay. I'm spent. <sighs> I'm spent. They're over here cutting it up and putting it in the boxes too. John Michael Walker, hey John, when are you coming back to America? Hopefully soon. I gotta go back to renew my driver's license, so, I, my American driver's license, so maybe soon. That was really satisfying. This is another one here. I guess they let it cool and then they cut it up, but hey guys, we still got some ways to go. That was really fun. Let's go see. Oh, that this is what they this is what it looks like in the boxes here and that there's that's what it looks like cut up in those pieces there I that's just such a wonderful idea to show them doing it that's so wonderful to show show them do that there because it makes you really want to try it now and I think a lot of people now that when they come here they're gonna want to get, get a bite of that just because they've seen it made right 
Oh man. All right. We got to we got to keep going. I I can't turn this into a, a six hour marathon. What? All right. So yeah, they got restaurants up here, and yeah, they look really cool. And you guys, who if you've been sticking around for the last forty minutes, you're in for a huge treat. There's not one, but there's two streets. There's another one on the other side. I'm gonna take you through there right now. We're just gonna walk through there. I want you to see what this is. The the city, this like this this the city festival. This is the Shokudo, and uh, you can get like meal sets. So let's go through here. There's some there's some sushi over there, and here looks like some wonderful meal sets. These are all plastic displays. Some tempura with crab miso soup and and rice. Look at that. That'll set you back about twenty dollars, or about eighteen eighteen dollars. This one is about eighteen dollars as well. Some really good looking sashimi and chawan mushi, miso soup, some tempura right here. Oh, look at the ikura and uni with a big piece of crab in there. That one is thirty five dollars. Whoa, that's kind of pricey. And they have other ones. Look at the half shell here. This one is thirty, about thirty, thirty-two dollars. So, yeah, you know, if you're gonna have a last meal, make it a really good one. I think. Let's go take a look. See, this is an unagi restaurant. You get some pretty good unagi, about forty, forty-five dollars for this, for meal set. These are teishoku. Teishoku means it's like a set. Okay. Teishoku is, I love teishoku. You get your own platter, you don't have to share. Um, you get rice, miso soup, maybe some pickles, and uh, and then the main course. Look at this ramen place, ramen. So there's a miso ramen set, everything's in English. Miso butter corn ramen, very, very famous here in, in Sapporo. But wait, there's more, you also get some uh, grilled pork rice bowl, which is a yakibuta. Yakibuta bowl. Here's a Hokkaido beef steak, teishoku. Here's a Hokkaido uh, pork, teishoku. And an unagi teishoku down there. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. So you have a really festive plate to eat. And I like it how these, these restaurants, they spill out into into the arcade you see this this is the shopping this is like sort of in the center of the plaza inside of here kikuyo teishoku over here so you could sit in in the area or you could sit outside in the plaza there's an old old chitose uh street car and we're gonna wrap around to the ramen street that's right i just said on the other side there's a ramen street. Oh, that's a fancy looking bar. That's a nice looking airport bar. Got a lot of people hooked up in there. All right, now we're getting into some pretty cool places. The restaurant area. Yes. Taking advantage of the wonderful cow and, and livestock here in Hokkaido. Some amazing cuisine. This one looks like it's beef. And it is hamburgs, steak, hot plates. Prices are pretty good too. Looks like an izakaya over here. A lot of dishes. They have it. In, they have displays in the window, so you can pick what you like. I like that. All right, let's get let's get over to the um, ramen alley, and then I'm going to take you into the domestic terminal. So Nuchitose Airport is pretty pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Here's a map. Let me just give you a quick look, see where, where we were and where, where we're going. So we started over here at the window. And this is where I met Yit from Malaysia. We came down here, saw the arrivals, and then we walked through here. I went upstairs to the Smile Road. We took a look at the Hello Kitty Happy Flight area. Oh, we missed the Draymond Waku Waku Sky Park. Ah, well, you're gonna have to see that for yourself because we're way over here. We walked to the Royce Chocolate World already and then we went through here which is the one the restaurant area number one and now we're going to go through here 
and then we're gonna end the live stream around here. And if we can, I wanna take you to the indoor observation deck. Let's do it. Indoor because it's like really cold and outside. It's supposed to get down to like minus seven. Minus seven. This is... This is the Hokkaido Ramen Dojo. It's... And the people are waiting and lining up for a famous ramen shop. And I don't think... This is for Ichigen. So they're lining up for Ichigen Ramen. But I'm gonna take you through there. Here are the ramen shops that are inside of the Ramen Dojo. It's a pretty good lineup. Oh, look at that one on the right with the crab legs sticking out. Wow. Hokkaido represented by ramen. Now that is, that is epic. Hokkaido, there's Wakanai in the north. There's uh, Kushiro and, and Kitami up on the north there. Then we're gonna work our way down to, oh, uh, to uh, Chitose is right there. And there's Hakodate and Obihiro right there in the middle with the pork. Ah, man, Hokkaido in ramen bowls. Epic, indeed. All right, this is the one that everyone is waiting in line for. It smells pretty good. Welcome to Sapporo's Ramen Dojo. All of Sapporo's really good ramen places in one area. Wow. I can get behind that statement. No ramen, no life. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that one, looks really good. Tori Python. Chicken broth ramen. I bet you that's a Hanjuku Tango that's been imprinted with a with a brand, hot brand. That's right. Don't brand the the cattle. Brand the, the eggs. It's the way you do it. Luxurious crab ramen. Now we're talking. Kanai, we're so gonna have this when you come. Luxurious crab ramen. I never had anything like that before. And guess what? It's not very popular. The shop's open. And then over here, this one looks pretty, pretty crowded too. Look at this. Oh, so they got a pretty good menu here. This is a miso ramen. It's a good looking miso ramen. This one, they just throw everything in there. Look at that big chunk of scallop. Do you see that on the right side? With that Hanjuku tamago and the, and the leeks, the, the green onions in the middle stacked up like a little mountain, topped with uh, red chili slices, corn. There's some wood ear mushrooms, some crab on the bottom. It's about $15, $16. I've, I've never really been satisfied with these though because I, I just want, it's too complex. I kind of think that sometimes simple is better, but it, it is a pretty good looking shop here. So I think you should try it. This place, these places open at 10 a.m. by the way, for those who are wondering, it opens at 10 a.m. Hey, Cobra Bebop's here. Thanks, man. I'll, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of live streams. Um, I'm going to Nobori Betsu next and then to Sapporo. And then I'll be driving around for a couple of days, taking you to spots that nobody has gone to, except for like the people that are there. That looks pretty good too. Oh, that's got priced down. That's to Tokachi's wheat fed pork. So the pork, even the, the meat is special. The chashu steak is all special from this area. That's a good thing. What? Is that a ramen? Hold on a second. It's getting a little crowded. I think it's time to get out of ramen alley. That looks like, I think that looks like a to like tonkatsu, tonkatsu, but 
a miso katsu, but it's like on top of ramen. What? That they got some pretty weird, outrageous ramen here. I can get behind that. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, this is some might say this is karate, but in Hokkaido they call karage zangi. It's sort of different. I, I'm not. I'm still not sure what the difference is, but karage, which is deep fried chicken, Japanese deep fried chicken, is called zangi here in Hokkaido. I don't know why, but it's just different. Zangi, Z-A-N-G-I. <laughs> I don't know, Zangi. <laughs> All right, let's go down to the terminal. What do we have in here? Oh, there's some some uh, shrimp. Oh, and there's some crab. Hokkaido crab there. turned into lunch. What do you guys think of, uh, of uh, Chitose Airport so far? Leave me a comment below. How does this compare to some of the other airports that you've been to in Japan? I'd like to hear from you. This is also the part of the live stream where you can write in where you're watching from. It's always neat to see where you all are from. And if you've never written a chat before to, to say hi, Now's a good time to do it. All you have to do is say where you're from. Oh man, look at that. I like what they do. This is soba, but they have toppings for the soba. Do you see that? That's not really typical. I guess it's a Hokkaido thing. And here you have the typical soba, but it comes with, with um, um, little sets on the side. Whoa, look at that tempura. What? This is a shrimp. Uh, kaki age, so it's a deep fried shrimp tempura. Look at that. That's, uh, we'll set you back, um, 1,495 yen, I think. And then there's the Sapporo Classic, which you can only get in, in Hokkaido. The classic Sapporo beer. Wow, everybody's from everywhere. I like this too. If you decide you don't want to eat, you can just chillax on tatami mats underneath the red umbrella. Parasol. Yeah, this is this is a real deal. That's tatami for sure. Interesting. So Itoen is one of my favorite Japanese tea companies. That I love to get Itoen out of the vending machine. That's the one I prefer. They have a map of Hokkaido showing some of the, their uh, tea spots. Interesting. And they have some more restaurants, so check this one out. So if you do get stranded here, I think you're gonna be okay with food. I think you're gonna be okay. Kaisen don, baby. Oh yeah, look at this. They got all sorts of Kaisen don here. Oh man, and they're not so big. I think that that's really good. All of them, all of them are about 12 to $14. And trust me, the amount of fresh fish on here is worth every single yen. Look at this one. The Maguro Tataki Don. What? Look at that Hanjuku egg, that half boiled egg just exploding on top of that uh, uh, Maguro, that uh, Negi, is that Negitoro? Wow. That is so good. And here's some, if you don't like um, raw fish, you can get fried scallops on, on uh, corn, as well as there's some pork here. So there's other options that are cooked. You don't have to get raw fish. That's smart because I know not everybody likes to eat raw fish and not everybody can eat meat. They should have a vegetable don, a vegetable bowl too. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chitose's domestic terminal after 55 minutes. <laughs> We took the long way. Pretty cool. This is the lobby of the international, the, the domestic terminal, sorry. This is where the thumbnail picture's taken. There's some places where you can sit and relax here. Um, I will walk a little bit inside and then we'll say goodbye. 
But um, a lot of people have been really concerned about the coronavirus. I want to tell you, we have a Discord server, everybody. Discord is an app that you download. It's got some chat chat rooms in there. We have about 10 or 15 moderators, a lot of moderators. So, you know, the content's not political or anything like that. But if you do have a lot of questions about Japan, you're worried about your travels, or if you do come to Japan and you want to connect with other travelers that are either here in Japan or have been to Japan like a dozen times, there's so many people in the Discord server. We have over 4,000 members now. You can join. Uh, it's free. I'm, I'm just saying because it's free. Just, just um, our uh, moderators in the, in the chats here will share the link. I think it's discord.gg backslash only in Japan. And uh, you, you can exchange information. It's, it's a really cool thing. It's free for everybody. And I, I want to make it as a meeting place. Uh, you can also do voice calls. And if you ever get stuck well, during your trip, you can go there and ask questions for information. And people re reply really quickly because the more members we have in there, the more interactions that we can have to help other people that are asking questions about it. And this is really uh, important about the coronavirus and also for the cherry blossoms that are coming. Where are some of the best cherry blossom spots in Japan? We have a uh, group right now that, that is sharing information. People have been here multiple times, places that they have gone talking about their uh, experiences. And um, that's sort of what I wanted to do with the Discord server. Discord is, is usually for gamers, but we found a way to use it for travel, and it's 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 pretty cool. So I encourage you to, to download that and uh, take a look at it. Join up. Everybody who's supporting on Patreon is automatically in there because we have a, a special uh, community for our, our supporters there, too. All right, let's go down. Welcome to the lobby of the Nuchitose domestic terminal. They still have a Christmas tree, which is pretty cool. I think Christmas tree until after my birthday, which is February. So we still got another week to go. Oh, hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Hey, there's a Unicro. There's an electronic store, toy shop. There's a lot of different things that you can buy there, buy here. Um, if you want to go shopping before your trip, international trip, come to the domestic terminal. Has stuff before you fly off internationally. In fact, you could go shopping here before you, get, if you're flying off to Narita, and buy your things here as well, and then put it in your suitcase. That sort of makes sense, and then check it through all the way. Even the Hard Rock Cafe is here. Here's the domestic security. As you can see, there's really nothing special going on here in terms of the um, coronavirus. I know that there's screening for arrivals, but when you depart at the domestic, I don't see anything, anything really going on that's uh, um, significant. Are there speakers or, or scanners in the center? Don't know, the speakers. So. I know that the, the, I think it's 14 people that have come down with the coronavirus in Japan and it's really spread out. It's like one here, two here, three here, one here. Um, it's not really an epidemic here, but it is a worldwide one. So if you're thinking of canceling your trip, I think you're, I, I, I cannot tell you what to do, but I think you're going to be okay. Wear a mask. The chance of getting normal influenza is really, really higher than coronavirus. You don't want to catch anything, so just take precautions. Don't over, don't drink too much alcohol. Don't uh, eat a lot. Eat good vegetables and and stay healthy and get enough sleep, and you you should be fine. Traveling with jet lag though means that well, if you got jet lag, you're going to be up before everybody, so you should beat the crowds, right? Just naturally, that's something to think about. Um, but I really do, just to say my two cents on this, really do like the way the world has come together to fight this corona disease. And if the world could do that with Corona virus, perhaps they could do that with like global warming and recycling plastics so it doesn't go in the Pacific Ocean, stuff like that. When there's a sense of urgency, people move pretty quickly, don't they? <laughs> people move really fast. So you have to have that sense of urgency. 
these are always top of the list of stuff to buy. These are the uh, uh, shiroi bito, koi bito. These white chocolate cookies are so good. Look at that. Man, here's the candy, crushed candy chocolate. This is new from the same company. It's Hokkaido Melon, and they put them into these packets. Everything is individually wrapped in, in Japan. This is about $10 for, for one of these. Let's see how heavy it is. It's not very heavy. I'm always looking for something that's really tasty for our, our daimyo supporters, people that are supporting on Patreon. Um, we, I think we have one or two, two packages left uh, for anyone who wants to join us. But I'm going to be sending a box. Kanai and I are, are sending the boxes from Sapporo. So, uh, oh, here's the potato. So we're gonna load up, load it up with Hokkaido goodies, and we'll probably send it around the, the sixth or seventh. Wow, that looks pretty good too. These are like um, super luxury Kit Kats. Oh, I dropped something. Super luxury Kit Kats, and that looks like a bomb, bomb kuhen. Uh, the Royce chocolate, I don't know. My, my problem with the Royce chocolate is what's the expiration date? Sometimes these things don't make it. The expir expiration dates are too, um, too short. It doesn't say. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this would be hard to get it out in time. February 21st, I think that'll make it. What do you guys think, tasty? Would that make it to you? Is that attractive? This is bitter chocolate, white chocolate, and caramel. I wonder. Yeah, probably, maybe that's a good one to send out. These are also good, these Maruse butter cookies. Oh man, these are my favorite. I love me some Maruse butter. Maruse butter, uh, um, but these also expire even quicker, I think. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this expiration date is uh, February 13th. That's not gonna make it in time. Um, these, the, the butter cake, I've already sent to, to Patreon supporters. Um, in 2017, there were like five Patreon supporters and I sent this one in 2017. This one has a very short life as well. They're really good though. These are butter cakes. Oh my gosh, it is maybe the best cake I've ever eaten. I say that because it's right in front of me. And these um, like little senbei chips as well are so good from different areas of Hokkaido. Um, there's some packs of ramen, special ramen from Hokkaido. I might put a pack in there. So I think we have 30 supporters um, at, the, at the daimyo level now. So I don't really know. Got to check. Oh, look at that cake. Oh, I, I have taken this home back, back to Kanai before. You eat, you, you cut it and it's so creamy and it's uh, like, um, I don't know, there's, there's some kind of cookie bat, cookie something on the outside, like soft something, like sweet hair. I don't know how to describe it. Just, it's good. It's so good. The Hokkaido soup stand is interesting. What's Hokkaido soup? Uh, crabs, vegetables, eggplant, looks like corn soup. What? what? Cutting this cake is dangerous. Once you cut it, it just falls in your lap like this. Oh my. Is that not... Is that not like awesome? That's what it looks like there. I guess you warm them up maybe, I don't know. How do you get it to this mode? I want to that, just rip it open and go blah. These times um, cakes are also incredible. 
custard and this one has red bean paste in it. They're so soft, very, very tasty. That might be an option for the uh, um, daimyo. Actually, I would like to give a little bit of everything. Maybe I can buy one and then give everybody one of each to try. This one, the Shirokuma um, White Bear might be interesting as well. That's, it's always fun to, to give you a chance to, to taste all sorts of different kinds of foods. That's what the daimyo boxes are for that I, I send on the Patreon. It's to give, give you a taste of all different kinds of things from, from Japan, not just um, the touristy stuff. The, this, corn, this corn ones are really good too. These ones are really good too. I might maybe put a bag of, of this in there. This is like a corn snack. And then there's the Ubody melon snacks, which are also incredible. Very, very flavorful. Oh, then there's the Maruse. Do you see them in the middle of the screen? Those are um, freeze dried strawberries with white chocolate around it. I'm telling you, that's. Oh. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to put in the box this, this month. There's a little food court. Okay. And then there's the check in. Who wants to go on a trip? Follow that white suitcase. All right, don't. <laughs> so here's the check-in. It looks pretty busy for the domestic if you compare it to international. It's a different world. So let's go. Um, how do I get, get to the lounge? Let's go back upstairs to the super lounge. I don't want to go to a lounge. I want to go to a super lounge. Who's in on this? If you haven't, if you haven't clicked the like button, do it right now because we're going to the super lounge. I think, I think, a super lounge deserves a like. What do you think? I think so. A super like. That's right. I want a, like a screen size like. Super likes. Hey YouTube, we, we, you should do super likes. A like next to the like, so people can like it twice. It's called the super like. Just that extra like makes it a little bit more special. Okay, all right. This is where we're gonna be ending. We're gonna be ending the live stream right here in a minute. Um, right there is, uh, there's the airport history museum. What, I love museums. All right, that's down there. You guys can go see that. Just know that it's there. I gotta make my way to Nobody Bets. Hey, wait a second. What is that? What is that? What we got here? Shiroi Koi Bito with Ganache filling. What's that? What do you guys think? Should I get that? Should I get that? See this extra chin? This is because of you guys encouraging me to eat more. This wouldn't be here if it wasn't for live streaming. Seriously. I, go see if it jiggles. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, okay, you know what? All right, all right, all right, let's go try one. Let's go try one. Do I get the milk chocolate or the white chocolate? All right, we gotta try white chocolate. Nama Choco Sando. Nama Choco Sando. Let's see if we can get to a thousand likes. It's only happened once in the history of the show. A thousand likes for this. Come on. Do it. Konnichiwa, Anama Choco Sando, Whiteo. Gaijimasu. Hi. The line just got really long. 
think our timing is really good because now there's about 10 people from somewhere else. Oh, wow, they're making something over there. It's like coffee and stuff. I guess they brush it with, with butter and they put love into it like this. Hey, hey, I see. AA just signed up on Patreon. I'm getting all these notifications. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Outsicle is deep. Oh, oh, what is that? What was that? Oh, it's still warm. It's warm. All right, take it and run away. Run away from that lady. Ah! Ah, that was awesome. She put something on it. What was that? She rubbed it with pure deliciousness. Now here comes a plane. Do it, land. Do it, plane. Take one for the team, come on. <laughs> Looks like a perfect landing. Good job, Captain. Nice, welcome to Hokkaido. Welcome to Hokkaido. All right, let's try this. So this is a uh, Shiroi Koibito. This is a very famous brand of confection. Oh, it's a little bit too zoomed. Very famous confection here in, in uh, Hokkaido. Um, I've never seen this before. It's a piece of white chocolate in it. I might not eat it all, but it's not jiggling. No, there's no jiggle to it. But she rubbed it with something. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. It's got a little bit of uh, butter, maybe? Maybe? Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's too sweet for me to eat in one sitting, but my report is it's so good. It's still warm a little bit, a little bit warm. I think it shouldn't be too warm or else it, it just gets all mushy, but this Shiroi Koi Bito has got this such delicious butter crunch to it. It's a very delicate cookie. In the middle of it is that white chocolate and it's not a hard white chocolate, it's just soft enough. And whatever she rubbed on it, I think it was like a sweet butter. Oh man, I'm gonna be savoring that on the on the uh, train to Noboribetsu. Oh, here's the Sky Museum. Okay, there you go. I don't know if this is it. This they they call it the Sky Museum. But there you have it. That's that's new Ch new, Ch new Chitose Airport. There's a food court here at the observation deck. This is an indoor observation deck. You can't actually go outside because most of the year it's freezing cold. There's a Drymon for Ellis on the uh, left side. But if you do come to Hokkaido, you can sit at the bench here and just watch planes come in, land and take off. It's pretty cool. There's a prop plane coming in from uh, um, ANA, maybe another Hokkaido city, most likely. But I think all in all, I give this, this airport five stars out of six. Four and a half out of five. It's very hard to get a, get, well, you know, maybe four out of five. It's very hard to get a five star rating from me. But in terms of food, I'd give it five stars. Amazing choices of all price ranges. A lot of sweets, a lot of gifts, a lot of food. Even the food court is looks pretty good with very reasonably priced sets. Um, the airport is, is uh, the international and domestic terminal, as you can see, are connected by an underground walkway. I think that that is extremely helpful. Um, there's a lot of places where you can relax in between it as a result. 
And um, yeah, all in all, I think I could spend some more time here. But I gotta be on my way because the trip must continue. Um, thanks again, everybody, for, for joining. Definitely subscribe. There's going to be updates on the coronavirus as well as some travel plans for the cherry blossoms coming up. And if you have any questions about Sapporo beer, nice. Um, I won't be able to answer that right now, but maybe later as we go to Sapporo in just a couple of days. Kanai is going to be joining me, and I'll be there at the snow festival. This is what you subscribe for. This is why you subscribe. I'm gonna be live at the Sapporo Snow Festival in on um, on February 5th and 6th. And you can get a chance to be there with me too. So definitely subscribe. I kind of encourage that because I want I don't want you to miss it. It's so much more fun when you're live and you can talk about it here in the live stream. Um, there you go, New, Ch New Chitose Airport. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Join us on the Discord server and I'll see you again very, very soon from the Bodibetsu next time. This time in the winter. I think when it was hitchhiking, it was in, uh, in the spring. So maybe there's some more snow in that area. <laughs>